welcome, welcome, welcome to the new moon in Gemini, solar eclipse, June 10, which happened this morning at 6.52 a.m. And for me, the theme is duality. And when the alarm went off this morning to get up, I'm here in Pennsylvania on an artist retreat with a girlfriend, and the alarm went off and I did not want to get up. And so I was, I, as I was thinking about the moon and calling in sort of the experience in the solar eclipse, there was this moment of a choice, this moment of a sort of commitment and then a moment of acceptance in the duality of I could get up or I could stay here. And I think Gemini often gives us this sort of duality of two sides of things. And, you know, one of those is getting up and one of those is staying where we are. So I, I invite you to sort of look at each decision and each moment of choice as you go through your days to look at both sides of things and where potentially you're, you're maybe and even if I just back this up, it's, there's sometimes when we get into a place of consciousness or awareness or, or curiosity, curiosity around our behaviors, there's always sort of this moment of like, am I doing something? Could I do it better? And, and, and I guess I even want to just like break that down. It's, it's really sort of choosing what you want in that moment, committing to it and accepting your choice and then just going going straight with it, full into it. Does that make sense? So this invitation for us to look at all the parts of our lives, and as we make these choices every day, to really commit to that choice and to accept it and embrace it and then own it and lean into it, what, it, what, what that means for you, where you're going to allow it to take you, you know, I think as we we commit and connect to parts of ourselves and expand our parts of self, then it opens up the pipe for more to come in. And anyone that knows me or listens to my stuff or engages with the things that I do, really it's about how can I expand myself in every single moment. And I think, you know, Gemini's got a lot of expansion energy and a lot of um, the ability to be the macro and the micro and again that duality of all of those things you know how can this decision I'm making in this moment feed into my micro world and my macro world and then how could I commit to that and follow it through and and be really in it you know I, I remember um, Last year I, I shot a movie and it was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. And I remember someone saying to me beforehand that when, you, when you're sort of, you know, hired on a film or, or you're paid to be an actor or actress or, or a singer or anything in a sort of performing kind of way, they're really looking for you to lean in to do that. Like everyone in the crew wants you to sort of succeed or or to um to embrace the role and get into the role and really do it and and i think it's a very you know interesting thing to sort of apply to life too that when you're going to do something you really do it whether that's doing the dishes or the laundry or or painting or um You know, making a decision about how you're going to change your day and how you work and, you know, what you eat, your diet, your exercise. Um, some of you may know Gemini is often about the environment that we create for ourselves and that we live in and, and how we relate to it and things like that. So I think there's a commitment too around that and, you know, we have choices around that, you know, you can tidy up or not tidy up and 
you can, you know, create space for yourself within your environment to, to be creative or to find peace or quiet. And, and you can, you know, follow those signs or guidelines or, or um, you know, guides that, you, you know, you're connecting with in every day to, to find a way to bring more, more of what you want to your environment. I love that. burnouts but he definitely has a strong engine a V8 something big exhaust pipe environment creating an environment for yourself to be creative to be joyful to be feel open you know, if you're if you're living in a space where there's no room to move or to create, then then that can often hinder us in, in the journey of sort of expression and creation. And you know, sometimes just looking at your environment to to see what you can do to make choices to to create it to to open it up, to make changes within it, to find, as I said, more peace, more creativity, more engagement, more, um, more openness so that you can call things in. I believe it was Marion, Marion Williamson that I heard once that talked about, um, you know, often in relationships, we don't often, you know, there's not often a role for someone to play. Therefore, you know, why would they hang around or they may not hang around or stick around. And I think about that too, in terms of our space and in our environment, if we're creating a place to play and create and, and do things, then, then that energy is going to come in and we're going to call in those opportunities and we may be more inclined to spend some time creatively doing something. I think that's interesting in our relationships too. How are you doing? How are you? How has the eclipse felt for you today? What did it bring up for you? What did it offer for you? How did it present things to you? Leo King talked about this opportunity to really leave the old stories behind and write a new story. And, you know, whilst I think we talk about that a lot, this eclipse energy really hammers that home, that this is the chance to, to really open the space, create a vacuum for yourself to bring in a new story. What does that new story look like for you? And what is your heart calling? What is your what is your soul looking for? How can you create space within your you know physical body or your spiritual body even so that your soul can play more or your soul can you know feel more peace or, or, or find more of its pieces and put itself together so that it can you know bring in that job that you're looking for, that new story, that new new direction that you're going in or attracting in that partner it's looking at all of those pieces of yourself is as we go through this sort of journey of collective remembering we're all remembering who we are because deep down inside of ourselves I, I believe we know who we are and as we uncover those pieces that society and family and and sort of our old belief systems that we've been sort of stripping away over the, these last you know few years of this moon as we've been you know, breaking down old structures and the patriarchy and, and really looking at what the world is for us versus what we were told it was meant to be. You know, we're creating new space for ourselves to create new story. 
and to call in that story of what we believe that we're meant to be doing. It's a very special time and it feels very alive and very, um, you know, Gemini is also a mutable energy. So, you know, like Pisces, there's a lot of sort of chip and change and you imagine sort of, I've been looking here at these beautiful trees over the last few days and you can see, you know, just the discs of the leaves blowing in the wind. And I feel like that's the energy that I'm getting from this, um, this eclipse that just anything is possible. And it's just like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. where am I going and what am I doing? And how I can sort of, you know, flip in the wind to be, to take on a new form, to, you know, protect myself you know, to, to brush off something that I no longer need or it's not serving me, to let it slip off me like water for duck's back, all of those things. <sighs> Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. Thank you always, everybody. You know, as I create my own story, stepping in and, and committing to you know, doing these, as I mentioned this morning, there was that energy of, what if I don't do it at the time that the transit is? What if I spend it laying here, staring out the window, listening to the birds and just being present with my own energy? And as, you know, we sat in the garden this morning and had a cup of tea and did some painting and we talked a lot and a lot and a lot. And Gemini's love to talk, that energy of going all places and every place is, every place and it was really nice just to be present in that transit this morning for myself and and be with my friend and hold space for her and vice versa versus kind of having to you know do a video in that moment so I'm really excited to be with you now as the sun sets and I've had a you know a beautiful day to reflect and to see what it meant for me in how I could create space for myself. To see what came in today, what conversations, what, what energy, what um, ideas and options and possibilities. And I think that writing this new story for myself includes that too, of how I could be present for myself as much as I am here to deliver these for you and to, to share these messages with you. And I think there's there's a lot of power in committing to that. Like I said, you know, making a choice, committing to it and accepting it. And that was my, that was my day of how I brought myself to you today. So, I'd love to hear about your story and how you're feeling the eclipse. Whether you have Gemini in your chart, your natal chart, what house is that lighting up? My Mars is in Gemini, which is sort of my action. And, you know, Mars is the god of war. It's the god of making things happen and, and you know, forward motion and action. And, and, and I think for me, um, Mars in Gemini has always shown up as sort of rushing into things, jumping into things quickly, which has served me greatly and also, you know, brought me many, many learnings and many journeys of, um, observing maybe where I could have taken a little bit more time to be consider the options you know the choices before I jumped in and I think that's important you know as we get older and as we get more wise or present or observant um, you know Taking time to make decisions using discernment is, is a really special thing. And I certainly know that my, you know, journey around making quick decisions and jumping into things and maybe not, you know, taking additional steps to, to be more discerning or learn a little bit more before I make a jump, um, you know, is definitely something that's been work in progress for me. And I think we're all work in progress in all ways, you know. Being aware and conscious brings things to us in a way that we can 
you know, learn more and clear more out of the system, you know, almost like I said, you know, make space in the, in the, in the, in our soul, in our soul's journey to bring other things in and to open it up to the things that, you know, we've been longing for or dreaming of in our, um, in our larger story or our sort of more deeper story or, or truer story, maybe even too as we let go of the old pieces of ourselves and bring in the new stuff and rewrite that story, you know, there needs to be space for that. And I think it's all of our own responsibilities to make space in our environments, you know, which can be, you know, our inner and outer landscapes again on the micro and macro so that we can create space to bring in that new story. Yeah, that feels good. I had this most beautiful experience today with a little hummingbird. I was out the front painting and I heard this sort of brrrr behind me and I thought it was a bear or something crazy coming out of the woods and I turned around and there was this bright blue and red hummingbird like right there talking to me. It was so beautiful and I squealed and it flew off into the into the sky and it was such a beautiful moment of like it was so close and so present almost sort of delivering this message and reminding me we'd only been talking about you know hummingbirds not you know uh that long ago so it was really lovely to see and hear and um you know experience that kind of close-up uh, interaction with nature which i think that we all dream of and desire and, and I believe nature can help you know realign us and put us back into our path and certainly being here this week and you know being in such a creative you know juicy environment that you know fosters creativity has been very beautiful to spend that with my friend and to spend that with myself and to allow myself to step into these moments of creativity and and, and sort of trust that that will flow over into all parts of my life. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for coming here to this beautiful place with me. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for taking the choice and the commitment and the acceptance of your decisions, creating an environment for yourself to, to flourish. And thank you for honoring who you are and thank you for being brave to, to do the work. You know, if you've made it to this video and to this channel and to this location, wherever you found me, you're doing the work in some shape or form and, and that's profound. And I also believe it should be honored and, um, should be honored and you know paid homage to from me to you thank you for doing the work because if we're all doing the work in every shape and form in whatever shape and form we're all collectively adding to the vibration of the earth and raising the consciousness you know consciousness is 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 a state of being but it's also you know comes from a high vibration and a high vibration is achieved by being conscious by being aware by being truthful brutally truthful anyone knows me i am awkwardly truthful at times and that truth is what um for me clears the depths and opens the portals to all the things i want and as i you know spend time in this beautiful back as I spend time in this beautiful you know artist space I know that I'm you know rewriting my own story knowing that you know I'm calling in a space where I can create and and host events and host um, you know transformations of people and children and families and welcoming them to find their inner you know inner self and and realign the dots to their inner self their present self and their higher self you know i always see kind of some of the work that i do around 
surrender to the flow, surrender to your flow. Um, for anyone that's experienced that, it's, it's a very sort of meditational, um, hypnotherapy, hypnotic trance-like experience where I use, you know, custom music and my voice to sort of take people through. And I, I, I would, how I would explain it is, is sort of a fast track or a, a concentrated experience to put the pieces of your switchboard back together. You know, I think we all have our own, we know where our own plugs go. And I think providing an environment for people to be able to do that work is something that I really love and I feel very grateful for and very um, fulfilled. And I think that fulfillment through ourself is what raises our vibration and fulfillment of ourself then spreads to other people to give them permission to do the same thing. And then that vibration, you know, creates a collective vibration and we're all rising and going higher together, which again, you know, can help transform, you know, the world and the earth and to bring it back to its sort of aligned place and, and bring all of the humans into a place of, you know, peace and love with themselves. And I think that that work starts with ourselves. And I believe through the arts, that's how we can help raise that vibration, you know, through expressing ourselves, clearing space, working through our emotions, really feeling them, expressing them, moving through them. We could work on that internal um, environment, which then, you know, greatly impacts our external environment and then also affects, you know, the larger internal and external environment of sort of our local environment and our global environment, if you know what I mean. You know, it's, it's multi-leveled, of course. <laughs> so many environments. Anyway, I love you. Thank you for being here. I see you. I hear you. If there's anything you want to share in a literal way, I'm always open to a conversation. You can hit me up and we can talk about your journey of ascension and um, Anything I can learn about you is beautiful and I'm fully open to that. So don't don't hesitate to reach out and to, to tell me about your journey. I love you all very much. I'm so grateful and um, I'm wishing you a beautiful transit as you call in the intentions of your new story and really, really own who you are, letting go of those old, old stories, old dog meat and new tricks as they say and um and making a choice committing to it and accepting it and stepping into it it's a beautiful place to be i love you very much have an amazing day and thank you so much for being here i'll see you soon Ciao. <laughs> bye